Hi, seniors. This week, we are going to begin our exploration of the autobiographical essay called Yellow Woman and the Beauty of Spirit by author Leslie Marmon Silco. So we're going to start by just telling you a little bit about this author. Um, she comes from a multiracial background, meaning that she has multiple races um, in her heritage. So she is Laguna Pueblo Indian. Um, this group of Native Americans come from the American Southwest um, around the New Mexico, Arizona, um, Mexico border. She is also Anglo-American or white and Mexican-American as well. Um, but she was mostly drawn to her grandparents' um, Laguna heritage. She grew up on the edge of Pueblo society, both literally, meaning on the edge of the reservation, and um, figuratively, because she was not permitted to participate in various tribal rituals or join some of the religious society due to her mixed ancestry. Um, while her parents worked, Silco and her two sisters were raised by their grandmother and their great-grandmother, both of whom told many wonderful stories. Silco learned much of her traditional stories of the Laguna people from her grandmother, um, whom she calls Amu, and you'll hear about her in our text that we'll be reading the next couple of weeks. Um, also, her aunt, Susie, and her grandfather, Hank, um, during her early years as a child. As a result, Silco always identified most strongly with her Laguna ancestry. She stated in an interview, I am of mixed breed ancestry, but I, what I know is Laguna. Um, throughout her career as a writer and teacher, she remained grounded in this history-filled landscape of her ancestors of the Laguna Pueblo. Her experiences in the culture have fueled an interest to preserve cultural traditions and understand the impact of the past on contemporary life, how the past influences us today in the present. She's a well-known novelist and poet, and her career has been characterized by making people aware of ingrained racism and white cultural imperialism and a commitment to support women's issue. Um, she was studying to be a lawyer. Um, after she graduated high school, she went to college, earned her undergraduate degree, and then she went on to law school. And while she was in college, in law school, uh, there was a case where a young African-American man was sentenced to the death penalty. Uh, this young man had clear mental illness and she um, was very upset, did not think that he should have been put to death. And she ended up dropping out of law school because she said she would never get justice for her people in the American judicial system. Um, so she said, the only way that I can get justice is through telling stories. And that's what she did. And we are going to be reading about her work um, this week and next week and possibly the weekend week be beyond that. And I hope you enjoy as she threads the stories of her past and of her people into the present and talks about how those stories shaped her and her worldview um, into who she is today. Much like you are doing with your timeline, um, talking about how the events and the experiences from your past shape your beliefs and the person you are today. Thanks guys.